Okay, so this is a first for us. Um, this is our FreeSat box from home. Um, it looks like the disc somehow has got corrupted because uh, my wife can't record uh, any programs at the moment. So I'm gonna attempt to try and work out how to get this apart and see if we can change the disc in it. So um, I'm not sure at all how to go about this. Uh, I've never opened one of these before and I can't even see how it comes apart. Apart from the top does look like it comes off somehow. Uh, so let's see if we can get into it. So the first thing that I've noticed is uh, there's a lot of slots everywhere and I'm just wondering if prising or getting a screwdriver in these slots will allow the release of the lid. I can't really see anything being able to do it but we'll give it a go anyway. So the first thing that I've got uh, I'm going to get a screwdriver and it looks like there's a little flap in there so if I push that to the side see if that'll let me see if that'll let me get in there okay yes so it looks like you have to press the peg it looks like it all just sort of unclips but it is pretty difficult so Let's get another screwdriver and see if we can get that in there like that and then see oops if we can get that under the lid. Yes, okay, so that's how the lid comes off basically. There's four clips. Uh, I'm going to actually keep something under there so that it stops it from falling back out. So we've got a screwdriver just slotted in there. And then I'm going to try the same on this side. And I'm going to actually change this screwdriver. I've got a load of Torx drivers here, so. What I'll do is I'm going to use a Torx driver to hold that apart like that and then I'm going to remove that screwdriver I'm going to pop the pop the driver in here to see if we can get this front bit of the lid off which it looks like it is coming off. Okay, I'm going to pop another torque screwdriver in there. So we've got two there, two there. There are a couple of screws here, and there's a warranty seal under here that feels like there's some screws there. Um, but I guess this is all attached to the bottom, so I think we might be in luck just by unsnapping these four pegs, and there's one at the front as well. So I'm going to just push that in, and that's released that one. Now I'm going to do the same on this one, and on this one I'm going to have to get in the corner here to try and get up underneath there, which I have done. Let's come out of there. So that's that one released, and then the final one to release is in this corner. And that looks like that is releasing as well. Okay, there we go. So, let's have a little look, see if we can get the lid off now. Hmm, that one's just closed back up. Right, so it looks like under the warranty seal here, it looks like there could well be a screw that's holding a little bracket. So I'm just going to scrape that warranty seal off yep let's see what sort of screw is underneath there uh, 
Okay, so that's that's a Phillips screwdriver under there. So let's see if we can. Yep. Yeah. So that Phillips screwdriver needs to that Phillips screw needs to come out from the back. I don't want to release the, the lid because so, I can't get it out. Okay, so there we go. So the, first of all, you want to break the seal on the back, uh, take the uh, take the screw out, and then you should be able to go around and unclip everything else, and then the whole top assembly comes off. I've never seen it inside one of these before. So inside here, we can see we've got the one terabyte hard disk. This is the one that seems to be uh, corrupt. Uh, that is our wireless card. Uh, I presume that's the processor under that heat sink. I'm not sure what it is. And then you've got on the back here, you've got your two um, uh, satellite dish input feeds and all the rest of the connectivity on the back. I'm not going to go through what everything is because uh, it's a free sat box. You basically plug your, your um, LMB feeds into the back here. Um, two so that you can record your programs as well and then they'll record onto the onto the disc So let's have a look to see how that disc is mounted in so it looks like there's a bracket here the only bracket here That I can see if I hold that up for you so you can see it uh, There's a screw there holding a bracket on here and I can't see any other mount points apart from underneath here the two screws that we've got there but Oh no, there is the four screws. So you're going to have to remove these warranty seals as well. Remove those two screws, which are here, which you can see are here and here. And then underneath they'll be here and here. And then potentially that bracket needs to come off as well. So let's do that first of all. Let's take those seals off. Okay. I'm not worried about voiding the warranty because we've had this unit for years. And there we go, that's those peeled off. And then we've got the four Phillips screws to release the hard disk. I'm hoping they release the hard disk. I hope everything else doesn't fall out. They look like standard hard disk screws that you would have in a PC holding a, a PC disk in place. So let's take those off. like so so this is a, a free sat box hdr 1100s so it's the one terabyte uh, version looks like it's quite a good disc in there seagate but due to i guess power cuts and things um yeah so that we're gonna have to take that bracket off as well because that is what's clamping the disc in place so as you can see there just removing that that bracket comes straight off and then the disc should slide out this way because you've got your SATA connection on the back here so we'll slide that forward lift it up and slide it out and there we have it so this is a Seagate video three and a half inch hard disc um, I'm not sure what the video part of it is, but uh, can I see a spin speed on here? No, can't see a spin speed, so I don't know how fast this is. Let's have a look, see if we can get it from the part number. No, it's an ST1000VM002. It must be something specific that's been used just for this device. Let me see if I've got a terabyte hard disk that I can use. Uh, so I've got 500 gig hard disk. What do we got in here? So Seagate Barracuda. Seagate Barracuda. Okay, so I've got a two terabyte disk there. So. Um, Let's go ahead and see if we can stick that in. Uh, another 500 gig there, so I've got lots of 500 gig discs. I've got a two terabyte disc. Uh, the only trouble is, of course, it's double the thickness. So if I put that on, is that actually gonna 
allow me to get the lid on. So the lid will go on, but will this bracket go on? No, so, but I can go, I can go underneath which would potentially hold that in. Need a little riser on there really, so that disc is unfortunately, much as I'd love to put a two terabyte disc in, it is too thick. Okay, so it just so happens that I've got a Seagate desktop hard disc, so this is a one terabyte, it was either that or a Seagate 500 gig. So let's go for the desktop hard disk. Let's just make sure that that is, yep, that's slotted in. So now I can put my bracket back on. Okay, so that just clips into place there. We'll use the magnetic screwdriver. Of course, I've got no idea if this is going to work or not, but uh, we'll give it a go. And hopefully, if it does, that will be great. Okay, so that's the bracket mounted back in with a uh, single screw under there. Hard disk is in place. So we're going to turn it over. We're going to pop our four screws for the hard disk. We're going to pop those back in. like so and there we have it so that's the new one terabyte hard disk in place now we want to make sure that we can get this cover back on so again this was a simple way to remove it it's the four clips so that'll all just snap into place and then we've got the one screw on the back which is the Phillips screwdriver just to lock that back into place there so let's do that. Okay, that seems like they're all. That's all there is to it. So, um, without further ado, that was a really easy job actually. Um, let's go and give that a whirl to see if that's fixed it. What you will have to do is when you do start it up, you want to go into your um, system settings and then into the storage under system settings. Then go into your hard disk and then you'll need to format. The hard disk to make sure it's in the correct format for this. If you found the video useful give it a thumbs up and leave us a comment in the description below to see if uh, we've done it correctly. We've got no idea it's the first time we've ever done it so hopefully we have. Um, just like to say thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you soon.